Okay, what we got here is a Denso oil filter. It's a 150 2010. And it's a heavy little filter for its size. Probably got a thick, thick canister. And uh, it's got a nice plastic wrapping here. Keep it nice and clean inside. It's nice. Well, let's cut this open and uh, see what's inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Yeah, you got the nice pre-lubed O-ring. It's nice to have. Typical base plate. It's nice and heavy. And a drain back valve. Looks to be silicone. It's nice and flexible. Black on these Denzels. It's usually more of an orange color on other ones. On the other filters. Okay, you got your your media here. It's some kind of dual filtration synthetic blend filter media. That's what they call it. Pretty tightly wrapped, except for just this one spot here, but that's not bad. You got the metal crimp seam here. Metal end caps, they're nice. You got a metal inner core with, it looks like louvers. Looks like louvers in there. See it better once I cut this open. And uh, you got your coil spring. Keep everything nice and tight. This cannon is pretty tough. This is made out of some pretty tough stuff. I had a hard time cutting this open with uh with the oil filter cutting tool. So this is pretty tough stuff. I wish I had a micrometer. I'd measure it. I may end up buying one just to when I'm doing because I'm doing this so often. I think I will get one. But uh. Yeah, let's cut this open. Oh, wait a minute. Let me measure this too. Uh, it's it's almost two inches. It's just shy of two inches. I'd say it's one and seven eighths. And I'll cut this open. We'll stretch it out. See how long it is. But looks well made. This filter looks very well made. Let's see the bypass valve right here. Okay, be right back. Okay, there she is. I counted 67 pleats, and she came out whole. So you can just double this number here. It's 64 inches long. And this is the metal inner louvers. Nice and solid. Okay, and that's it for this filter. Oh, and I forgot to mention uh, on the box it says made in China. But it's a well made filter, if you ask me. And uh, I would have no problem using this in my vehicle. Hey, if you like the video, me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching, and keep on wrenching. Take care.